This is fecal emulsification of a soft intumescent cataract. Main incision is being given at around 11 o'clock with a 2.8 millimeter keratom. One side port is made at 1 o'clock. Now a big air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. Now tripan blue dye is taken to stain the anterior capsule so that we can do capsular axis easily. Staining is done like this with sweeping motion. Immediately after staining, I wash out the dye. I do it under an air bubble because I don't want the endothelium uh, to stain with tripan blue dye. Now viscoelastic substance is again injected into the anterior chamber. Now another side port is made at around 8.30 o'clock. Now a cystitum is taken, 26 case bent cystitum and a small puncture is made at the center of the anterior capsule immediately while the fluid comes out. Now a very small axis is made with the help of a uterator forceps. I don't try to make a bigger axis initially. Now the high intraventricular pressure is decreased by aspirating some superficial cortical fibers. Viscoelastic substance is then injected into the anterior chamber. Now a venous scissor is taken and a small cut is given at around 9 o'clock. Now the capsule holding forceps is taken and a bigger axis is done in this way. I do it, I go in the anti-clockwise direction. Now direct chop is being done in this case. It is a grade 3 soft cataract. The nucleus is divided into two halves. Now one fragment is made and it is being emulsified. Another fragment and it is taken out. Another fragment it is engulfed using under ultrasonic energy. One more fragment is taken out. And this is the last fragment. We must be very cautious while emulsifying this. I decrease the vacuum. At this time I come to FACO on position. And increase the bottle height if it is less. That's it. The nucleus is taken out. Viscoelastic substance is again injected and the cortical cleanup is started. This is a direct Simco cannula being used to clean the cortex inferior and both sides. Now the superior cortex 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock, this portion is being cleaned by a bimanual irrigation aspiration system. Now under irrigation, an eye well is implanted. The irrigation probe is used to dial the lens and place it in the capsular bag. There was some amount of viscoelastic substance in the lumen of the cartridge that is washed out. Now a little bit of moxifloxacin is injected. The side ports are hydrated and a final wash is given. That's it. So. 
if we do a mini rexis and then enlarge the rexis the main challenge of intumescent and cataract is taken care of the case is over antechamber is formed and that's it thank you very much